Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies. Welcome back to War Thunder. This is actually some old footage. <coughs> By that I mean, excuse me, I'm constantly sick. <laughs> but, uh, this was, or sorry, this is going to be me just flying around in the A4 Getting by, playing the mental game, getting a feel for the aircraft, flying low, being fully aware that there is radar-guided SPAA on the red side of the battlefield. And uh, just really enjoying War Thunder for what it can be sometimes. So I'd like to take a moment to talk about the quiet times of War Thunder. I actually had some System of a Down playing softly in the background, and I am still just as much a fan of their product as I was when I heard it the first time. It's just something about that uh, distrust of the establishment expressed in such a... Creative is kind of an overused word, but that's the way it comes off. Way. A bit of chaos, very well delivered. Something the A4 can itself demonstrate after you unlock all the fun bits. But let's not talk about the stock grind in War Thunder. I, I do hear there have been some improvements to that lately um, from my uh, cave that I've been playing Mountain Blade from. The isolation, I've got to say, is starting to get to me a little bit. I almost feel like there's something I should be doing that I'm not doing, and I'm not just talking about uh, my habit of going to church that I've put on hiatus for a while. I've had this feeling that there's something coming, and uh, I really can't say more than that. It's just a feeling after all, but uh, quiet times like this make me feel like Something something is coming in the world. Uh, like people have been asleep for a long time, especially in the United States, where things are so comfortable that we've found stupid stuff to fight for. And you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, those issues matter a lot, especially to uh, people born after me. Uh, but it just seems very strange to me. <laughs> Maybe I'm an old man. I feel more like it every day. But uh, I don't know. What did I care about when I was young and dumb as opposed to old and dumb? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even think I knew what it was when I cared so much about it. But listening to System of a Down really made me feel like I wasn't the only one that felt that important things were happening that I had no grasp on. Another thing I have no grasp on is timing and editing. I like to record all of a session at once, so my commentary doesn't always follow the plan that I set out for myself when I cut the video. And uh, I just, I'm so in love with the sound of my own voice that I don't really want to cut out chunks of that either. It's sort of a stream of consciousness kind of deal. I, I could say something like, <laughs> as uh, Son of Fudge makes parfait out of his first and second foe in quick succession here in the KV-1... C-756R, I think. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what name this has right now, uh, but it is probably one of the best 
premium heavy tanks in the game that you can buy with golden eagles even for a beginner and as a beginner i heard the same thing about that leading me to buy it myself and i didn't really feel like it gave me a huge advantage and i don't think it does but it's just a really good heavy tank and it is useful for a beginner and it's still very fun to play even more fun to play i dare say as an experienced player of the game and that hasn't changed from the day it was introduced to this day where we will see fudge have an absolute blast it is fun to come out on top after all anyway it's late as it will probably be for most of my videos these days uh, a chunk of the Christie and the guppers are safely tucked into bed guppy was tired enough tonight that I didn't even hear her clonking her way out of the crib and going on adventures in her bedroom with the Captain America nightlight but uh, uh, Brooklyn as well very tired she has these massive teeth coming in um, I, I think molars <laughs> and, and and maybe more it seems like all of her gums are swollen right now uh, with little whites poking through and she just gets so tired at the end of the day and it makes me tired as well because <laughs> when the girls are unhappy I kind of notice those things but it really is nice to be caught up with you all again and I missed War Thunder I, I sort of have intentionally put myself in this position of just not playing the game for a while and uh, yet still making these replay videos oh, it just really makes me want to play the game uh, watching the A4 I, I just want to get back in the sky and just fly and you know peck at targets of opportunity and just enjoy the game again for a while not trying to make progress anywhere just listlessly engaging with what the game has to offer anyway i'm not sure what your experience is uh, lately uh, partially because i haven't been spending nearly as much time on discord I have been spending more time playing with my girls lately and that has just been it's been the best oh my gosh baby Zoe is starting to parrot she's starting to mimic words she doesn't know what most of them mean but she definitely knows what up means so she'll ask for up and then just get super happy when I pick her up and simple stuff like that is the best and if it seems like I've completely abandoned giving a commentary on what Son of Fudge is doing right now, I'm going to cough in a little bit. <coughs> Got some crud in my lungs. That's nothing new, just so you know. Probably allergies. Anyway, I think I got COVID a while ago. I, I don't know. It's, I'm kind of... I'm staying at home as I always did <laughs> but even more now and uh, if I have something or if I had something I'm not spreading it around so huzzah interesting times we live in now what do I say a son of fudge has just been absolutely dunking on foes the 75 <coughs> excuse me plus millimeters of armor on the KV-2's front and sides with a hundred millimeters total in most areas of the frontal hull. The turret itself being no slouch a la KV uh, and with the fantastic 75 millimeter cannon akin to those found on the later Panzer IV models you have yourself an absolute win 
in terms of a heavy tank that has actually gone down in battle rating from the uh, 5.0 where it peaked and where it could still do well. It's yet another KV with fantastic armor that just happens to have a fantastic gun, which is somewhat more rare of an experience coupled with the fantastic... Re I'm getting a little bit less creative here as I'm getting tired. Fantastic. We have the best reloads. Everybody loves our reloads. Everybody talks about the reload rate and... Uh, we just nobody has a reload rate like us we have the we have fantastic reload rates we always ha we've always had the best reloads sorry that's my trump impression <laughs> i get a little bit silly when i'm tired there was probably a point and the main point of this replay is behold the carnage that Son of Fudge is wreaking on the enemy team. This is really a map that serves the heavy tank well, or vice versa, and I really enjoy it. It's a really good city map. There are others that I feel are not quite so much fun to play, and I'm not always in the mood for a city map, but having a well fleshed out lineup uh, with a lot of different options between Speedy Boy and Armored Doomsday Device really helps to keep you nice and versatile for those moments where heavy armor and fantastic gun are maybe not your number one priority. Uh, but with the incredible selection of speedy boys, both in the regular and premium line available around this BR2 securements, with the SDKFZ234 in all of its incarnations being fantastic, even in an up tier, and delightful premium vehicles like this one. To make things all the more interesting, uh, this battle rating, was is it 4.7 now, I think? It's not 4.3, is it? It, it couldn't be 4.3. But you could still throw your Panzer 30, or sorry, your Jagdpanzer 38T into the mix as well. I'm not going to stop you, and I won't rat on you neither. Anyway... <laughs> This just, it really makes me want to play some War Thunder, but I'm still playing Mountain Blade for a while. Bannerlord has been an incredible amount of fun. I have over a hundred hours into the game, uh, where a couple of days ago I had upwards of 70, so I've had the game running for a while. <laughs> A lot of that is spent AFK, admittedly, as uh, it's one of those games that uh, takes a lot to restart. I have to restart my computer if I'm going to close the game and then try and open it again. So I just kind of leave it running a lot of the time when I'm doing things around the mansion. But just absolute dominance that we've seen by Son of Fudge here. Not a super complicated gameplay. Uh, you angle your armor a bit. The strong side armor of the KV comes through at this battle rating just like it does earlier in 3.7, I think. Or is it 3.3 that's the lowest BR KV? I'm not sure. But things get really spicy around 4.0 anyway. And uh, this tank still has the armor to play the angling game. And then you just roll forward a little bit, back a little bit, wiggle the turret some, although you don't have the best traverse rate, to keep people from hitting your weak spots. And I think it's 100 millimeters or so on the sides of the turret as well. So you can angle that turret quite a bit especially against people that don't know the parts of your mantlet that are safe to hit. Well, to sum things up, as we observe Son of Fudge going full Son of Rambo on the enemy team here, 
I miss you guys. And I really have turned my gaming obsession into a little bit of a social life. And I really hope all of you are doing well in the times that we're living in now. Uh, you always have a YouTube youth pastor available if you want to talk about stuff. And I really, really, um, I just want you guys to do well and to talk to me if you're not doing well. Because, I don't know, I've, I've, I've had a few people that have been good to me and especially that have looked after me when I needed some looking after and it's my absolute joy to return the favor. Uh, so with that, that wraps up today's replay. I decided to do just one uh, even though I have a ridiculous number of replays that I could share with you all and I'm really looking forward to getting as many of those done as is reasonable within my constraints. And as always, there's a link to the Discord, which is the best place to get a hold of me. Although I'm not so easy to get a hold of these days. <laughs> I'm just so busy. <laughs> That's what Brooklyn says when really the answer is, I don't want to do it yourself. It's not what I'm saying. I just thought you should know. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.